You're watching Shaw, Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Addison. Here it is. You know we're talking about an author when we do the classic pull out of the book to open the interview shot. Curtis Anderson alongside Pam Boston, author of, of course, Mostly Happy, as you saw from the pullout off the top. We're here at McNally Robbins today. Pam, thanks for joining us. Thanks Are you excited? How was the, uh, I understand you took quite the bus ride yesterday from Winnipeg. Yes, I took a 10-hour bus ride pulling into every small town along yep. the way. Yeah. I, I am very familiar with that route. <laughs> Uh, this is just going to be such a great interview. We can talk about this. You put together the greatest press kit I've ever seen <laughs> in my uh, few years of reporting here, arts and entertainment. That is awesome. And it's kind of a little, well, <laughs> it's been in my pocket for the better part of a week. It once resembled a red suitcase, which has to do with the book. And you'll notice on the floor here at McNally is a red suitcase, which our camera guy tried to get out of the way before the camera started rolling. He's like, I'm going to trip out of that. And I'm like, it's a prop. It's a prop. <laughs> Tell me about the red suitcase and how it ties in to Mostly to Happy. Mostly Happy. Well, the book is the story of Bean E. Falwell, uh, who's a girl that follows her sort of from her conception in the backseat of an off-duty cab in Regina, Saskatchewan, hmm. to a phone booth in a bus depot from in Cheyenne, Wyoming, 30 years later. And throughout her life, she gathers up souvenirs and she tucks them into actually a red Samsonite Saturn suitcase. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a suitcase that I've taken with me on the road. I've been on the road since March 28th, touring across Canada, doing readings and signings everywhere. And I was selling books out of my little red suitcase, which is sadly not a Samsonite. It's a haze, but it has four-wheel drive, so I went for that. I love it. I mean, that's, no, that's brilliant. I, I seriously, I, this used to resemble a red suitcase before it was again in my pocket for the better part of a month. But yeah, it's you must have had a lot of fun putting that together. I did. It's yeah, the little handmade by Pam. <laughs> it's true, you and it was excerpts from the book with the little items that I drew in my not great drawing, but you know. If you want to get Curtis Anderson Shaw Arts and Entertainment reporter's attention, this people. That's how you do it. <laughs> Mostly happy. Feedback so far. Lots of positive. Uh, yeah, it's been great. Like, the tour has been, we've called it the Mostly Happy Couchsurfing mm -hmm. Tour. Uh, Thistledown got me a Greyhound pass, so I traveled by Greyhound, and I slept on my friends' couches in different cities across the country. And so it was really a celebration with me and my friends of the yeah. novel finally being out and published. And so I had some great times. I did readings uh, in bars, like the Bushwhacker in Regina, yeah. where I worked for five years. So I did it there. And in a couple of theater bars, because I know a lot of theater folk. So I did it at the refinery here, downstairs in the bar, mm -hmm. and at Factory Theater in Toronto in their studio bar, which was great. We had a really nice night that night. It's almost like they got your tour mixed up with some uh, local struggling musician. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's some guy with his guitar sitting at a bookstore right now waiting to sign his CDs. No one's coming by. Uh, give me some more stories from the road. People come up. They love the book. Yeah, it was um, the bus I, uh, I just did an interview yesterday and they were asking me you know have you talked to lots of people yeah. on the bus and I don't I'm not a big talker on the bus okay. I'm a big get two seats settle in eat a ham sandwich get in the mood yeah get in character. you know and read yeah. read my books I've been weaving my friends books across the country as well because I run out of stuff to read so yep. take one from their place leave it at the next place but I did talk to one guy we were outside having a smoke because I still smoke and we got talking about what he was reading and books and he was from Australia and I said well as a matter of fact I'm on a bit of a book tour and so gave him a bookmark and that was kind of cool so yeah. we had a good talk yeah and then around the across the country it's just been really neat uh, like I said to see my friends but also uh, strangers who show up at the mm -hmm. reading and then come to get a book sign and just talk with them about the book so most rewarding part of getting this out there <sighs> well, it's been six years that That's I've been awesome. working on it, and I can only work on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. So I'm very glad, though I love Bean, I'm very glad to be leaving her world, and I've just started work on a new play. So that's great. Yeah. Well, can you tell me about the new play? That's kind of segueing into my closer for <laughs> oh, these, uh, yeah. these, these, these interviews. What's next for you? A play, maybe? A play is next. Uh, I have a title so far and a couple characters. It's called Sanctuary, okay. but I think it will be a funny play. Most mm -hmm. of my stuff has been a little bit heavy, but I think I found my, my humor side with Bean. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, it's called Sanctuary, and it sort of uh, started with uh, the sort of Quasimodo ringing those bells and yelling, Sanctuary, Sanctuary. So. Mostly happy, available all over uh, you know, Saskatchewan where fine books are sold and beyond, obviously. <laughs> of course, right here at McNally Robinson, what are people going to get if they pick this up? They are going to get a book that's very prairie, 
Uh, she grows up in Regina and various small towns across the province. They move a lot. And she goes to other places. She goes to Europe and she goes to Toronto for a little while. But um, I think it's a good sort of life story, you know? Thanks for joining us today, Pam. I can't wait to sit down and read this. Sadly, I did not have time before the interview. That's why I was kind of vague in places. <laughs> kind of vague. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me.